ang TNC po ay nakikiisa sa sambayan ng Pilipino para sa isang mapayapang Bagong Pasko. Ang Bagong Pasko ay simbolo ng bagong pag-asa. Ito ay isang pagkakataon upang ating mapagnilayan ang mga kaganapan sa ating buhay. Ang diwa ng Bagong Pasko ay hindi mararamdaman sa mga palamuti o karangyaan sa ating kapanagiran, kundi sa alab ng pag-ibig sa ating mga dibdib. Lahat tayo ay nakaranas ng hirap nitong taon na to. Dahil sa pandemya, nawalan tayo ng oportunidad. Kahit na anong mangyari, pinipilit pa din nating makapagbigay ng saya sa iba. Yan ang diwa ng bagong Pasko. Para sa akin, ang bagong Pasko ay hindi concerned sa handaan o sa mga regalo. Sharing, giving, taking care of each other. Sana simula ngayong bagong Pasko, ganun na lahat tayo. Maraming salamat po sa new channel, Maligayang Pasko. Christmas is always a reminder to have an attitude of gratitude. And that means sharing the love and appreciating everything that matters to you. Christmas is a celebration of life. And let us all be grateful that we are enjoying God's gift of life. Ang bagong Pasko ay simple at payak. Nakasentro sa ating pamilya at sa ating Panginoon. I want to remind everyone that we should treasure the connection that we have. We have our friends our family, and of course, Jesus Christ. Para sa akin, ang diwa ng Pasko hindi nagbabago pa. Ito ay panahon ng pagmamahalan, pag-ibigan. Walang makakatalo sa pagmamahal na bigis sa atin ng Panginoon. Maraming salamat po, The New Channel, Maligayang Pasko. At muli na diwa ng bagong Pasko ay hindi lang paghahangad ng mga regalo o mga bagong bagay. Ito ay ang pagpapahalaga sa mga bagay na meron na tayo at ang matutunang ibahagi ito sa mga nangangilangan. Ang salamat ko ng New Channel! Dapat din natin tandaan ang totoong diwa ng Pasko, si Kristo Jesus. Noon, ngayon, at magpakailanman. Ang bagong Pasko para kanako, dili ang masigarbong pang sa ulo, kundi ang pag-ambit o ginabang sa mga taong mas nang inahangla ng panahon sa pandemya. Ang diwa ng bagong Pasko ay ang pag-iingat sa ating mga sarili, pagiging ligtas sa kapamakan, at pagpapabuti sa ating kalusugan. Maraming salamat po sa New Channel, Maligayang Pasko. Maraming salamat sa New Channel, Maligayang Pasko. Ngayong bagong Pasko, isa buhay natin at maging saksi sa kagandapan sa Belen. What does the new Christmas mean to me? It means reconnecting. Reconnecting with the people you love, the people you care about, the people you have not spoken with in a long time, that always made you happy. We should never forget, Christ is still the reason for the season. for us is focusing on the basic unit of society which is your family and virtual togetherness with friends and relatives. And of course, sharing your blessings to others in need. Celebrate Christmas with full of gratitude. Ang Pasko ay tungkol sa pagmamahal mo sa pamilya mo at pagiging mabuti sa kapwa. Christmas is the season of giving but you cannot give if your hands are closed. So open your hands and your hearts and give. In your open hands, we receive so much more. Christmas is the season of giving. It is best spent with our families. But it does not also forget that this is the celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Para sa akin, ang diwa ng bagong Pasko ay ang pagkakaroon ng mas madaming oras para sa ating mga pamilya. Maraming salamat sa new challenge ng Maligaya Pasko! Christmas is always about sharing and caring, loving ourselves, and loving others. Ang bagong Pasko para sa akin, malayo man tayo sa isa't isa, ang pagmamahal ay atin pa rin maipadarama. Maligayang maligayang Pasko po at manigong bagong taon sa inyong lahat.
The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following show are those of the hosts, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello there and welcome to the new channel. We are here to help you see the new you. My name is Lloyd Luna and this is The Big Picture.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, wherever you're watching from around the world. Good evening to you. It's the fourth day of December, araw po ng Biernes. Thank God it's a Friday. And yes, it's 21 more days before Christmas. We are saying hi and hello to those, to those people who are already tuning in to watch our inspiring episode for tonight. Please, if you're watching live right now, please do share our live stream link. You can also organize your own uh, watch party. You can forward the same link, live stream link, to your friends uh, in your chat groups and whatever communities you belong to. Hello, Marco. You can also watch us live on youtube.com slash TNC now. And if you are going to watch us on youtube.com slash TNC now and drop some comments in there, you can have an opportunity to get a gift courtesy of Unisol and TNC. Ito po yung item na pwede nyo makuha kung kayo po ay mapili naming mapalad na manonood ngayong gabi. Please watch the clip. All right, that's washable face mask worth 800 pesos. Uh, if you are living within Metro Manila, kayo po yung mapalad na mapili namin. Delivery is on us. Now, I'm going to cut the chase because our guest for tonight is so special, so VIP, <laughs> that I cannot let the guy waiting for more minutes. I have to uh, let him in. I'm going to cut the chase and uh, skip the headlines from the Manila Times. Punta lang po kayo sa maniltimes.net or download their application at digitaledition.maniltimes.net. To read the news. In the meantime, I'm going to call in our guests for the night. I don't know if, if you have already uh, make your adjustments in the way you're running your business, but if not, we have some insights today. Now, I don't know if you are also trying to help and contribute to the rebuilding of our economy, because if you do, there are probably some more insights and inspiration you can get from our guests for tonight. Our guest is none other than the Museum Prince, Lawrence Lance Litan, also the 2021 oh, president of JCI. Hello, Hello. Welcome to Hello, good evening. Uh, hi, Lloyd. Thank How you so much you? for coming to the big picture. I'm good. How are you? I understand your gate crashing somewhere, but never mind. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> to the big picture. Appreciate yes, your time. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Okay, now let me ask the first question. How have you been? And the, uh, always I ask the guest is their response when they heard about the pandemic, the lockdown and the quarantine. I don't know what were uh, what was going on in your mind back then, but what was it? Actually, no, during the pandemic, it's uh, everyone is asking me if I'm okay. And then, uh, ano yung mga pinagagagawa ko? I'm okay because uh, this pandemic season, this is the right time to adjust at the same time you plan ahead. So, we're planning for 2021. So, pumapasok pa rin mga employees natin, not because only for, for ano, para dito sa pandemic, no? Uh, we created a lot of, uh, ano na, nag -mood board na kami, what are the plans, and then how can we start for next year? So, technically, un until now, our business is still closed. But uh, we cannot stop the, the economy. So, we need to create more and more. And then, uh, we... Since that uh, we're working with Lakbay Museo, okay, binus naman namin ngayon in terms of online selling namin. We're selling different uh, Filipino product. Yan. Yan yung mga pinagagawa namin ngayon. Interesting yun kasi very social yung business mo. I mean, uh, students and uh, people should come to, to your place kasi kailangan ng tour sa mismo museum. So, yung, yung first reaction mo, what was it? Like, uh, were you shocked? And uh, ano yung unang response mo doon? Kasi yun yung gusto ko talaga nalalaman yung first few days and few weeks na mga actions that you have taken. Actually, Lloyd, no, yung once they announced na, na magla-lockdown na tayo, and then sabi ko, ah, one month lang to. Sabi ko, okay lang, guys, ah, one month. Tapos two months. Tapos three months. Naging six months. <laughs> Tapos sabi ko, naku, mukhang tatagal na to. And then the, the, the reaction that uh, all the ma my managers and then the management realized na what will happen to our employees. Sabi ko, hindi pa pwedeng magutom to. Kasi end of the day, uh, kung ano ang lakbay mo sa iyo ngayon, kung, kung gaano na kami kalaki ngayon, uh, we will not get that one, not because of these people. So sabi ko, what's the next plan? So 
we give them already the separation pay, we give them already the 13 month pay para makapag-start sila. And then no, uh, we created one program which is uh, a business loan. So we give them an opportunity, okay, our employees to make their own ano na businesses. So meron nagbebenta, nagre-resell na sila ng mga different products. Meron naman bro, nag naggagawa na sila ng mga burgers. Tapos nagtatanong sila sa finance namin how they can create that one, kung ano yung mga negosyo nila. And then we approve it. And then the, we give them the money and then they started already the business. But until now, ang kagandahan bro, ah, naging sustainable na siya. So hindi na sila umaasa sa amin ngayon. So we're very happy and comfortable that all our employees are okay. Yeah, and that was a sudden shift. I mean, it was not planned in 2019. I'm sure it was not planned 2019 because ngayon lang nangyari. And uh, nagkakaroon ako ng goosebumps ngayon kasi can you imagine, uh, we can still make some decisions that can sustain the life and livelihood of our yes, people yes. in sa challenges. Yes. All right, in interesting. But who 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 was Lanstan in 2019 and backwards? Bago ka maging museum prints and i don't know wow. where the princess is but <laughs> that doesn't matter what are you doing actually bro uh i'm a i'm a tourism graduate from central scholar university and then uh, i have a uh, opportunity to go to united states and then i worked there uh i thought uh, being a scholar from the schools uh, they will give me a uh, sabihin na natin good position but hindi pala. I started from scratch. I started as a housekeeping, okay, cleaning toilet bowls and then uh, cleaning uh, cleaning rooms. But of course, uh, I don't want to work in housekeeping kasi sabi ko, ang hirap. Sabi ko, you need to clean like uh, 16 rooms in 8 hours. So I work hard. After 3 months, they promoted me already as a supervisor and then come back here in the Philippines and then uh, finish my degree. And then luckily, uh, I applied for one of the airlines and then uh, pumasa naman ako, but I receive again a scholarship going to United States. And then when I go back to United States, sabi ko, I want to become uh, the owner of a hotel or I want to become the president of the company. So sabi ko do sa HR, I don't want to become a supervisor. I want to start all over again. Sabi ng HR, ha? Huh? Why do you need to start all over again? You are already a housekeeping supervisor. Sabi ko, no ma'am, because I want to become a real manager. So... What happened is uh, I started from the dishwasher again, okay? Dishwashing, tapos nag-transfer onto the kitchen division, naging FNB uh, busboy ako, FNB server, and uh, eventually uh, naging FNB uh, banquet manager ako. And then after a while, I, I, I realized that I want to serve my own country, the tr which is Philippines. I come back here in the Philippines and then... Uh, Work as a real hotelier, I started from Cebu, going to Bicol, going to Manila, going to Ilocos. So, mga almost 16 properties na ang nabuksan ko dito sa Philippines. Ibig sabihin ng nabuksan, ibig sabihin from the, from the management, from the creating of the interior, for establishing the employees. And then, uh, after a while, I joined to another group and then I, uh, we opened also like 33 shopping malls, like 16 McDonald's. So that time, sabi ko sobrang hirap. Sabi ko parang with the age of 37 years old, uh, I gone through a lot. So I decided already to quit and then uh, do my own thing, now which is the the museum. So yeah. I created the Lakbay Museum, no? Yeah. Uy, okay, alloy, no? Yung Lakbay yeah. Museum, we discussed natin nan when uh the big picture on TNC returns. So, dyan lamang po kayo. Dahil may tanong pa ako, in fact, bago tayo mag-break, no? Ang question ko is, uh, what was going on in your mind during those years of hard work? At saka, saan mo ba nakuha yung patience na yun? Kasi mukhang, mukhang tinagami yung lahat. I mean, before, before you finally said, uh, enough, I'm quitting and I'm going to start luck by Misea. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't go away. The big picture on TNC will return. Please, please stay on our stream.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're still watching The Big Picture, the new channel. Before I call in back to the studio, our guest again for tonight, please do watch our other shows on TNC. May kita po niyo yung lineup ng iba't ibang mga shows with different host experts at iba't ibang mga topics para po sa inyo. There's always one show for everybody na pwede niyo i-pick. Just go to youtube.com slash TNC now or follow our Facebook at YouTube or facebook.com slash TNC now. So, mamili na lamang po kayo dyan. Wala kong tayo masyado i-discuss kasi masyadong uh, mahalang oras itong guest natin nakakahiya naman. <laughs> okay, so tama yung sinasabi ni, ni, ni Lance kanina na ika, nakikita kasi ng tao yung result na kakagad. But sino ba mag-aakala na kailangan niya pagdaanan lahat ng napakaraming challenges? And uh, yung mga pagsubok na yun is, you know, after, uh, after all those things, para sabi, okay, I have to make uh, something my own. So, I'm going to bring back uh, Lawrence uh, Lance Litan, uh, Museum Prince of the Philippines, GCI Makati 2021 president at the same time, yung Lakbay Museo guy. Oh, so, saan ang gagaling yung patience? Uh, feeling ko, dun sa edad mo na 37 at the time, kasi ilan ka na ngayon? 45? No, 38. <laughs> Sorry, napalayo yung computation ko. Yung patience, kasi karamihan ng, ng siguro sa generation natin, yung patience is parang hindi siya, parang very rare na siya. What were you thinking at the time? I mean, ha, what sustained you for the longest time opening one uh, one hotel after another, one one uh, food chain after another? Actually, Kuya Lloyd, no, it's a difficult thing no because... Uh, I have my principles in life, no? Now, which is, uh, I need to finish my race as soon as possible. I don't want to work like 40 years old, 41 years old. I think this uh, this stage, uh, I have only two years left. Uh, this is already my retirement stage. Because uh, basically, I want to enjoy my life. I want to go to different countries and then uh, explore, enjoy, and everything. No? Because uh, there's a lot of people right now, they're thinking that they're, they're too young. To become uh, an executive, some uh, to become the executive of big company. Pero kuya Lloyd, 25 years old, 28 years old, it's not young anymore. So naga adjust narin ngayon ang timeline. Dati ang mga bata sa atin, mga 30 plus, nagi start palang tayo. Pero not now. You see the technology right now. You see the the effects of the uh, the internet connection. We're bridging the gap right now, so it's easy for us to communicate. So, and damning changes. And then the people right now, especially the millennial, oh my God, I tell you, yung patience nila is really, really, really small na lang, unlike our term. Our term kasi, it's like, if you want to grow in this business, mag overtime ka without pay, or maybe you exert more effort, but the millennial right now, yun ay parati sinasabi ko sa mga millennial eh. What do you want right now? You you get a certain amount of money, you have a good pay, but how can you sustain your life? Kasi once they get the money, anong ginagawa nila? They spend it. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they know it's easy to earn. Right now, it's easy to earn eh. Bro eh. Can you imagine? TikTok, TikTok pa lang, you can earn money. Wagawa ka lang ng YouTube channel, you can earn money. So I, I don't have any problem with that one, no? But what I'm trying to say right now, Ah, uh, yung panahon natin dati, kailangan talaga tayo maging ano talaga, mapagpasensya, patient, no? Hard working in order to to succeed what you want. And so, then, so I, think, uh, I think yung foundation has to be really solid. I mean, this yeah. is a term that parang it has to be built really uh, so solid na alam mo na eventually magiging sustainable. Hindi siya pe pwedeng yes, parang yeah. fad na yun, na kung ano yung uso and then yes. that's it. Lipat na naman sila. Actually, Kuya Lloyd, no, I have a short story. No, I still remember during the young age, my dad is always telling us every Saturday and Sunday, we need to go to our hardware. And then he asked us to go, ano, nagkikilo kami ng pako. Per kilo is one, uh, one kilo, one kilo, one kilo. After that one, binib binabayaran kami, pumunta kami ng grocery, and then we buy what we want. So that's the salary. So we, that time, bata pa lang kami, nakikita pa lang namin na kailan na pala namin magtrabaho para kumita ng pera. So that, yun ang nag-push siya amin to grow in this level na. Oo. Now, uh, the idea of Black Buy Museo after your retirement from corporate life, uh, pursuing your own passion and your own business, 
sana galing nga idea yes. were you thinking about it many many years prior to putting it up or one night na naginit ka na lang or pumasok lang sa isip ko na I want to do this Actually Lakbay mo say is my project during college days I'm always competing with different ano uh, schools and universities in putting up like a booth about the Philippines and uh, to be honest with you bro I uh, I'm still a Taiwanese Uh, this coming May, I'll be the the. I'm already the uh, Filipino citizen. So this is the gift <laughs> to the Philippines, di ba? Kasi bro, since birth taga taga Pilipinas na ako. I never go to Taiwan. But uh, alam mo, bro, ang kultura ng Pilipinas ay napakaganda. And then we have a lot of opportunity to share to the market. Ang story, bro, nyan. Bakit kami nagcreate ng lakbay mo sa yon? Because uh, last year. Uh, we have a visitor coming from uh, United States. Dumating sila dito, and then they need to stay here for three days only, and then they need to go back to China they, because they have a business meeting. You know, sabi ko saan ko sila madadala. I want to show to them the the real Philippines. What are the different uh, destination? Sabi ko nako, we need to create a Philippine museum. Sabi ng mga ano ko marketing ko, ha Philippine museum so boring. Kanya sabi ko no, we need to create like a colorful museum. That's why we created the Lakbay Museo. And then by the way, bro, ah, the Lakbay Museo, it's 80% of our staff are out of school youth. 10% are senior citizen and PWD, and then the 10% are college graduate. So we're helping the community. Yeah. Oh, did you do that on purpose? I mean, when you put it up, you know exactly who to hire, and uh, you needed some sort of uh, reaching, doing some reaching out, uh, para dito sa mga ito, so that you can uh, get them employed. Actually, from the start, I decided already because uh, sabi ko nga sa bro, eh, I'm already in the stage that I'm comfortable with my life. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm so rich, but ah. Uh, I'm comfortable and uh, living life with the fullest, and then I want to share my time and uh, what I've ever receiving right now to these people. Can you imagine, bro? Ha, the majority of our staff natin dito are the breadwinner of the of the family. That's why you know, bro. I'm encouraging all the companies. No, we give uh, a some percentage of our employees to give this an opportunity to out of school youth. Pero alam mo, bro. Ang nating nakita ko, di ba? I work with several companies. I open several hotels, shopping malls, McDonald's. Grabe ang dedication ng mga out of school yun. You know why? Because we're giving them a chance to live. We're giving them a decent work. That's the most important thing. Kasi ang feeling nila, kung wala silang pinag-aralan, hindi sila makaka-work sa company. Kung hindi wala silang pinag-aralan, hindi sila makakapasok sa mga malalaking kumpanya. So, I'm... I, I want to use the the TNC right now. I'm calling all the companies right now. I hope that uh, we work hand in hand to make a little percentage of our employees to help these young people. Na, na mga wala mga hindi sila nakapag-aral dahil sa kahirapan, and then we give them an opportunity. Yeah. Oh, actually, mas maganda institutionalized yan. So kung susuportahan mo ako sa akin pagtakbo bilang senador, gagawa natin ng lahat yan. <laughs> Okay, boboto kita. Di boboto lang. Ang hiningi ko ay ay suporta. Suporta. <laughs> suporta. Okay, uh, maganda yun. You're saying that uh, kailangan lang nila mabigyan ng chance. And I agree na, yes, they may be even uh, more hungry kaysa doon sa mga nakatapos. Kasi parang ang tendency means na nakatapos, hindi naman lahat, is parang complacent sila. No? Parang palagay na yung loob nila da, na hindi sila mawawalan. But if you're going to rank them nga, minsan talagang mas, mas iba, mas iba yung lalim ng pinag-uugutan ng mga hindi nakatapos. Because they you know exactly they have to outperform uh, kung ano yung mga nagawa ng mga nakatapos. Alright, yes. sige. So I'm going to pause for another short commercial and then when we come back, uh, let's uh, move with our discussion. At tatanong ko sa'yo syempre kung ano yung mga insights mo moving forward, uh, especially sa 2021. Both doon sa business mo and at the same time sa JCI Makati. So ladies and yeah. gentlemen, don't go away. The Big Picture on TNC will return. Please uh, stay on our stream.
<laughs> Welcome back. You're still watching the big picture on the new channel. So I pa guest natin backstage. Palokot daw po ako. <laughs> Inusgahan ako. Kailan ako doon na kaibigan. Nandiyan lang siya. Hello. <laughs> anyway, huwag ko na kayo papasukin to. <laughs> Let's bring back Lawrence Lance Litan, uh, the museum prince, and ang judgmental owner ng lakbay mo sa'yo. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So ang itatanong ko na wala ako dun sa ano ko eh, na wala ako dun sa, sa rhythm ko. <laughs> Sabi ni Kyle, pa, Papa ba yan? Kyle, Papa? Oh, hello Kuya Lance, I don't. Mukhang empleyado mo to ha. Ano to? Nabigyan na ba to? <laughs> Pinadala ako ng load. <laughs> okay. No? Kaya pala marami dito nagko-comment, may mga pa heart heart pa si Luis, kalalaking tao. Si Luis Recto, oh, may pa heart heart Share lang kayo ng share. Okay, watching from Las Piñas si Luis. Hi, Luis. Uh, welcome to the show. Ayan. Mukhang wala naman nagtanong. Mukhang naiintindihan nila yung dinidiscuss natin. <laughs> Sana naiintindihan nila. Okay, let's move forward. Um, 2021, as far as your business is concerned. So you're starting uh, um, to uh, jumpstart the business. Luck by Museo selling uh, online stuff. Uh how do you see it now? I mean, the, the way people are going to patronize your museum in 2021, ano ang nakikita mo? Actually, sabi nga dito sa show mo, it's the big picture, right? I always see the this opportunity. <laughs> Mamaya pa yun. Ah, Last ganun ba yun? yun? What is the big picture? Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Oh, Alat ang subscriber mo ko. Yun ang masasabi ko. No? Okay. O okay. kaya naman, may mistake. Uh. <laughs> Actually, Kuya Lloyd, no? uh, 2021 is the, I think it's the best year for all of us. We move drastic to a bigger picture. no. Uh, what I'm trying to say, 2020, uh, sabi ko nga eh, we prepared so much for 2021. Uh, and dami naming mga collaboration and then uh, we have a lot of future plans kasi ang ang negosyo dalawa lang naman papupunta natin eh. either tataas ka or babagsak ka but right now i think uh, if your uh, business partner are willing to gamble for this uh, for this situation nothing will change and then uh, you will catch the the worm for next year no at mabubusog tayo uh, of course, there's a lot of uh, negativity that they will tell you na, oh, but hindi mo pa isara yan. You know, the boss is giving you hard time for for uh, uh, for uh, for your rent. Sabi ko, ah, I think this is not the uh, the time na para sumuko. No, I, I'm working for how many years already? I established a lot of companies, and then uh, this is just a little of our problem. So magahanda pa tayo with a bigger problem. So, sabi ko nga bro, na with all our staff, diyan lang kayo, babawi tayo next year and then sama-sama tayo. And then I I know that the the, the students will ano na mag-start na sila lumabas. You look the mall right now, the 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 all the families is walking around na rin sa mall. Yan. Eh mm -hmm. very ano lang sa sa ano, sa virus. Yan. Mm -hmm. Careful. But, but, Pero prior, di ba, yung 2019, talagang you go by the numbers. Meaning to say, many many students should really, talagang uh, pinuputakti talaga yung lockby music. Uh, yeah. sa'yo. Uh, so ngayon, parang it will be the same business model ba? Kaya lang, kailangan mo ng, you know, lagyan ng, ng uh, sort of a uh, system para ito, social distancing kailangan implemented pa din. Yeah. Siguro before, we're, we're receiving like 3,000 to 4,000 uh, students per day, no? But right now, with this pandemic, probably mga 2,999 ang makakapasok sa atin. <laughs> <laughs> Nakapaawag na, 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 na sa isang mga eh. vote, no? Isa na... <laughs> Oo. Kung dati, kung dati nagbubukas kami ng alatin ko ng madaling araw, probably ngayon, magbubukas naman ako Ay, ng alauna ng madaling araw. <laughs> Yes, okay. yes. Papa, I, papa, I think there's, a, there's always a plan for that one. Yes, yes. Yeah, but, but it's serious. I mean, it, it can it be done? Yeah, yeah. Not not so much. Maybe uh fifty percent will do, right? Uh, kaya we're we're having. But ibig sabihin do sa premise na yon. I mean, uh, you can always innovate and you can always put up another system yes, yes. to augment 
Uh, just for you to sustain the business. Okay, very good. Yeah. Now, let's talk about Actually, Jason. No, no, I just... Sige, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Actually, I discussed already this one also, the technology now, very important. No? So before you, you, when you go to Lakbay Museo, ang dami mong fill up, ang dami mong gagawin. Ngayon, hindi na. It's a one click, you can enter na right away. So I think the fast service right now, you know, this is a very challenging to us. Ha? Sabi ko, not only in, our business, in my business, all of our business right now, pero it's a good thing, no? Imagine mo, hindi ka na maghihintay sa pila para mapasok. You just show your, your cell phone and then you can enter right away. That's Ay, easy. Salamat. Unang pasok ko dyan. <laughs> Just ko. Kaya yung form na pinilapan, di ba? Hi, nako. Anyway, buti na lang. <laughs> buti na lang. Okay, let's talk about JCI, Makati. Congratulations uh, for your installation. Although hindi pa, no? Hindi ka pa formal na. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we look forward to, to that. But congratulations nonetheless. Uh, and for another successful staging ng Pink uh, 2020, uh, December 1st. Ano naman ang nakikita mo sa JCI Makati 2021 under your presidency? What are the things that you're looking forward to uh, to doing? Because this is still a challenging time, 2021. Of course, worse yung kay Joey, 2020. <laughs> Actually, Kuya Lloyd, no, I think that this is the best time of my life, you know. After working hard so many years that... Uh, Grabe, di ba? But right now, uh, this is the time that I want to share my time to less needy people and then uh, yung mga negosyong gusto nila magpatulong sa akin without the fee. You know, bro, uh, there's a lot of uh, messages from uh, mga small entrepreneur. nag email sila or nag-text sila doon sa Facebook account namin. And then if we know that uh, these people are... Uh, Umaga, pwede namin tulungan. We're trying our best. And then some of the businesses, they're okay right now. Uh, ngayon, it's more on uh, giving back to the community, giving back to the business, giving back to the society. And then uh, my year is a really good year because uh, I want to share to the, the to Philippines, uh, we're targeting 500 projects for, for my term. And then my BOD, eh, surely, they supported me with my journey, no? That's why uh, we're continuing a lot of uh, trainings, uh, projects, feeding program. By the way, no, I just want to illiterate that uh, JCI is a non-profit organization. And then we are not only for feeding program or doing all the disaster. That's just a part of our journey. No? We're building leaders. Yan ang, pinaka, ang, uh, yan ang pinaka mission namin. Building leaders. We're building a good businessman. We're we're building a good man who will serve the country. Mm. Yeah. Okay, now, speaking of the leaders, uh, as far as you can realize now, the, the way you imagine things moving forward next year, my question is, uh, in leading and managing people right now, whether it's non-profit or a profit organization, what has to change? Nako, alam mo, Kuya Lloyd, no? that's a very, very good ano, no? question. Very good ka dyan. Actually, kanina, bro, before haba, haba, ko na itatanong, haba haba ko na itatanong, talaga namang ngayon lang ako na very good, sige. <laughs> Hindi, alam mo kanina, bago kanina, bago ko dumating dito, I spoke one of our uh, BOD, and then sabi ko sa kanya, we're doing this, uh, this organization, alam ko ginagawa ko siya parang kumpanya. What do you mean by kumpanya? We have like a target, we have like a specific time, you, don't, uh, you, you need to arrive on time, you need to be patient, you need to be creative. Kasi some of the, some of the people right now, they think if you're joining an organization, they think, oh, wala naman kami bayad dito, eh, tumutulong na nga kami, ba't yan? Sabi ko, no. With my term, bro, I make sure that all my BODs and all my members are equipped to become a future leader. Okay, since that I mold already, I molded a lot of managers, I, I molded a lot of uh, uh, big caliber executive from different companies or different field, bro. I think uh, this is the best time that this uh, huge organization, I can mold them also to become a future businessman, a future leader. What is the main difference you see on sa corporate leadership saka dito sa uh, non-profit leadership? Hina pe, bro, eh. Kasi, technically, bro, sa, sa corporate, you're paying them. You're, they're receiving their 13-month pay, they're receiving their bonuses, they're receiving like this one. 
sa non-profit organization, bro, magbabayad ka pa ng membership. After paying the membership, you need to go from one place to another place without pay. But you know, I, I've done a, a program right now who can, uh, I can encourage all my members. So ano yun, bro? Sa end of this year, magkakaroon kami ng awarding ceremony. So, awarding ceremony, kung sino pinakamagandang project, kung sino parating umaatend ng mga meetings, umaatend ng mga... To encourage these young people, young people, no, kala mo matanda na ako, no? My <laughs> co-young people. <laughs> diba na, na to, to give spare time. Kaya lahat sila ngayon, very exciting. Maybe, you know, TNC will give us a sponsorship like 100,000 pesos. No, we can give to these members, no? No, Kuya Lloyd, what do you think, Kuya Lloyd? <laughs> Uh, I think that's the only time that we have for tonight. Uh, I will have to say, <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, you, you know, you know that uh, honestly, that uh, we are here to support you, man. The platform. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you so project. much. My because God, also Kuya Lloyd, I just want to say thank you again to TNC for making one of my biggest and flagship of JCI Makati project is a successful, grabe, pinag-uusapan na siya sa buong Pilipinas ngayon. And then, uh, we're hopefully, uh, we're hopefully to, to do the, the yung, yung, yung binigay mo sa aming video, ipapadala na rin namin sa ibang bansa to give an inspiration also to other country. Yan, para makilala ka na, na not only the Philippines, no? <laughs> yeah, it, it was a, uh... I don't know. I, I I know exactly how. I mean, not exactly, but I know more or less how the event will turn out uh, the night before when we were meeting. But it was it was it exceeded the expectation because uh, the energy of uh, the people who got involved really, uh, hindi lang yung mga organizers, speakers, at saka yun mismo mas nagjade because they stayed. I mean. Less than a thousand people they stayed uh, watching live and they were interacting yeah. interacting during the event for what uh, three or four hours. So four hours. It was it was a huge success. Okay, so moving forward, considering all things that are happening right now um, in business, in life in general, and this is the final question: What do you think is the big picture? The the, the thing that you see very clearly that possibly most people don't. Ah, uh, for me. The big picture is uh, I want to be remembered as uh, not only a philanthropist, no, as a, as a brother to everyone. That uh, as much as I want to help everyone, hanggat kaya ko tutulong ako. You know, that's the yun ang yun ang advocacy ko sa buhay ko, eh, no. Uh, even my uh, when my my dad still alive, sabi niya sa akin, bakit ang hilig mo tumulong? Sabi ko. Aanihin natin ang yaman kung hindi naman tayo nakakapagpasaya sa ibang tao. Yan. Yan ang big picture ng buhay ko. No? Kaya yung, yung, yung kanina mga streaming yun ng mga about Christmas, about giving, sabi ko, nakaka-touch. Masarap-sarap pa ulit-ulitin, no? Yeah. No problem. Maybe next year, kasama ka na doon. We don't know. I mean, <laughs> may, may time slot pa. <laughs> may time slot pa. But thank you so much. So where do they get in touch with you? Meron ka bang mga panawagan pa? May nawawala ka ba pa mag <laughs> Ipanawagan natin sila. But uh, your call probably to, to the young leaders uh, who may be watching us right now or even on replays. Ano yung panawagan mo sa, sa, sa kabataan ngayon, sa young business leaders uh, para sa susunod na taon? How... how would you like to encourage them really to participate in starting nation building? Uh, to all the young leaders, uh, young businessmen, of course, I want to invite you to come and join with us, no? JCI Makati. You just go to our Facebook and message us and then we will entertain you. Sabi ko nga bro eh, uh, hindi po kami nagmamata ng tao. Kung sino man kayo, tatanggapin namin kayong buong puso because we want to create the young leaders and the young businessmen. To all the fellow young uh, young professional, guys, don't take it easy. We're not young anymore. There's a new generation who's coming over and take our place. And then we always remember that our position right now is not to compete with these young people, just to share what we've uh, experienced, our expertise, in order for them to become successful like us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, Lawrence Lance Litan. Uh, malapit na maging Pilipino. 
<laughs> yeah, wala na lang na. But uh, follow lock by me sa iyo PH uh, on FB at the same time JC ay makati rin na para kung gusto niyo mag-join ng organization. Okay, thank you so much uh, Secretary Lance uh, Tan. Hindi pa, hindi pa. Relax. Ay, hindi pa, hindi pa. Okay. Relax, okay. In the works. Maraming salamat sa time. Appreciate it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's Lawrence Lance Litan. Uh, siya po mayroon ng Lakoy Museo and at the same time, at JC ay Makati 2021 President. Thank you for your time. Sa lahat po ng mga nanonood at tumultok ngayong gabi sa The Big Picture, maraming salamat po. Our host presented to you by Puzzle Box BPO Inc. Also sponsored by Unisol Well Life. Maraming salamat po sa Aliagaray Supply and also sa PAP, SPALP and Step Back Leadership Consultancy. In the meantime, I'm going to say bye-bye for tonight. Maraming salamat ulit. Uh, uh, next will be, next will be, ano mga araw ngayon? <laughs> Friday, ano siya nakasal? Station, because after shift on TNC will come next at 8.30 p.m. Bye-bye and good night. I'm going to see you again on Monday. Happy weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.